Thank you for your patience. Kita menerima keputusan dan We accept the results of the uh, the results and uh, respect the people's mandate. Pakatan harapan. As you know, the Pakatan Harapan is the forms the largest component to uh, win seats in the 15th general election and we understand uh, that no party has obtained the majority in parliament and this requires some processes discussions etc and i have come to understand that we have reached an understanding uh, or agreement to form the government when uh, uh, consented by the uh, the king his majesty the king as the party with the largest block and uh, after forming the sufficient number to form the government. In English, okay. Now we, of course, accept the decision of the electorate in the G15 elections. We, Pakatan Harapan, uh, has formed the biggest block in the uh, parliamentary composition uh, with uh, Muda and um, we have also recognized the fact that no party has obtained a simple majority in parliament. We therefore have conducted a series of meetings and negotiations, and as a result, I wish to inform you that uh, as a matter of the law, we have managed to get uh, the support of MPs to form the government with a simple majority. Um, subject to, of course, the normal process um, submitted, to be submitted to a young Dr. Albo, who has the discretion to make the final decision. I'm merely announcing the fact that we have obtained the majority. Majority, man, uh, majority means more than one one one. What are you talking about? Pardon? All right? Good question. Yes. Pardon? Now, whether it's a uh, national party, regional parties, uh, uh, I, I don't think it is uh, proper. Now, we have all the documents ready, but then uh, we have to respect the due process in the decorum to first submit uh, to the young Don Albo the okay. yeah, yeah. earliest possibility. Pakatan Harbin has won the most, but still not reached the simple majority. Yes. yes. So, uh, is it possible that at last it will lead the same uh, situation just as uh, before the election. No, I was before the elections. I just told you that uh, we are the biggest block and we have entered into an understanding to form a majority to be able to form the government. But AMNO will also. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, my, what I'm saying is we have now the majority to form a government. Yes. It cannot be. It's impossible. 
for him to claim to do so because we have it in writing. And, and um, we'll, we'll uh, notify the palace accordingly. Sir, as a background, sir, can you tell us how much you can reach the uh, uh, wheel in the uh, How much? 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 No, we have, we have uh, what is important to, to understand that we have crossed the 111112 number. That's important. All right? Thank you. Can you, can you give us an indication of which parties that you've had the understanding with? I am only able to speak on behalf of PH, but uh, <coughs> subsequent. Issues related to other parties have got to be done after we submit to the young Dr. Adun. Dr. Singh, can you submit to the young Dr. Adun? The preliminary letter, I plan to send it now. Okay, any other questions? No? When can we know whether it actually accept your um, letter or something meeting letter? Well, I wouldn't say this. I'm not absolutely certain that we have the numbers. Thus, um, we did may claim to do so, but it cannot be because we have now two two one because pending a by election in uh, or uh, elections in Padang Sarai. Um, we will only be able to inform you when um, we secure an audience with the young Dr. Hago. Dr. Sri, there are some rumours saying that Parisan National has approached Parisan National to form a coalition. <coughs> I'm not entertaining rumours. I'm discussing this on facts. And what I've submitted to you are facts, not rumours. Rumors you can ask that similar media. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, quite a number, I understand quite a number of MPs have uh, that phobia against Pakistan because of our strong view against corruption and on our commitment to good governance. I'm not surprised at all. But we went to the elections on this uh, uh, principle <coughs> to uh, ensure that this country uh, could not condone corruption and uh, strengthen the issue of good governance and focus on the economy. Um, how no, I think you, you, what I'm saying is we will form a government only when we have the majority. And it will certainly be stable. All right? Well, that's it. Seeing that Pakatan Harapan in Sarawak is dominated by GPS, I mean, in that Pakatan Harapan is lower than both. Um, is there any talk of GPS uh, forming a coalition with Pakatan Harapan of this country? Of course, we welcome uh, the participation of uh, all parties so that it becomes more uh, inclusive. But uh, I'm not quite at the liberty to say more. How to guarantee the current candidate from the government that will be stable, not be put down uh, just like before? How to guarantee? There is anti-hopping law, as you understand. Anti-hopping law is already in force. Right? Thanks. That's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. Thank you.
Yeah, so you've just been listening there to leader of Pakatan Harapan, Anwar Ibrahim, and winner of the Tambun seat in Perak, uh, making his remarks to the media. Uh, we have managed to get the support of MPs to form the government subject to the normal processes. Those were his words. Uh, Mr. Anwar saying that Pakatan Harapan has obtained the majority of more than 111 or 112 seats uh, that would be would form a simple majority to form the government. Yeah, and for that, he said that he had reached agreement to form government with uh, uh, with other concerned parties. Didn't give away who they were, but did say he seemed to have a written agreement with that. Next step for him, he says, is that they have to present it to the king in order to uh, get uh, sort of uh, a blessing on that side of things. Uh, he didn't say who it was, though, did he? Um, even though he did acknowledge that uh, Pakatan Harapan is the largest uh, block outright, and I suppose in the box seat to form a government, but as we discussed, it's not quite as simple as that. But we did sort of say just before we went to that press conference that this could be what happens, right? That yes. he could come out and say that he also has the numbers. Yeah, if, if you do the math, then it's, it's barely there, and, and you don't know, you know who's going to move where over the next few hours. Um, he also said he has, did he just say he had a letter from the Agong as well? Oh, uh, no, he has he didn't a letter say that. to give. To yeah, give. He yeah. Right, that so he he's, would, got, he's got everything on paper already. But I feel like it's a bit deja vu. Um, and it, we've heard this before. Um, and maybe this is a counter psychological effort to, to, Pakistan, to Prikatan National's early statement. Who knows? Yeah, but he'll be feeling vindicated tonight, Francis. Um, I think it really depends on the end result. So, I mean, I imagine, you know, uh, we've been at this point before, uh, you know, where he's almost gotten it. And so he doesn't have it in the bag, and it's possible that it is not in the bag. So uh, I, I would hold off on the feeling vindicated for the moment. Um, and I think right now, you know, there's going to be lots of phone calls, uh, lots of negotiation across the two parts of Malaysia to come to, to some sort of agreement. Yeah, yeah he did mention when he was asked about uh, Sabah and Sarawak, and he did say he was very open to working with other parties. That is his path, isn't it? He needs, if he can't get them, then there's, there's no chance? Correct. Yeah. They, you know, both sides need, need all the rest. Um, if it was just PN and BN, that's not enough too, right? So mm. they would still need GPS or, or somebody warisan. Um, whereas PH can take all the, the others and not take BN and, and, still, and still have this, just a majority. Um, so I guess we'll just have to wait. And